Welcome Speech. So this is the sixth year running that WH Partners, our firm, is curating the regulatory track for Sigma. And I laud you on all waking up early this morning and making your way here through the mind-numbing traffic. Um, we have two hours this morning of back-to-back -back sessions, as you know. And I just wanted to share a few thoughts with you before we start today's sessions. A uh, few thoughts about some of the topical issues that the industry is, is facing. And first of all, I wanted to mention the increased focus that we're seeing across many of the jurisdictions we deal with, especially in Europe, um, on operators in the gambling industry being good actors. So there's a common denominator here, right? Whether you look at what's going on in Malta with the launch of the voluntary ESG code, um, but also if you look at the white paper on the reform of the Gambling Act in the UK, which was launched in April, there is a movement towards wanting to see operators in this sphere um, being more socially minded, being more responsible. Now, whether that takes the form of what is being discussed in the UK regarding affordability, which is very controversial, um, especially the manner in which that is implemented, or whether it takes a bit of a lighter touch in the form of a voluntary code of ESG, I think the message from regulators especially is that they would like to see operators being more socially responsible actors. And in a way, this also ties in <coughs> with what we're seeing across the market when it comes to consolidation. We're seeing much more consolidation. The M&A market in gambling is still extremely active. And there is a subtext, I think, where we're seeing regulators indicating that they would much rather deal with fewer, larger operators, operators which have proper governance and in some way which they feel they can control better. Of course, consolidation is also driven by, by efficiencies, by increasing costs, and I'm minded also of developments which are happening closer to home in Italy, so just north of this, this country, where under the new uh, proposals for the online license tender, which is due to come up in 2025, the conditions are far more onerous, making entry much more difficult and much more expensive. And one last thought in view of all of this, where does this leave us with respect to innovation and entrepreneurship? So is the time for that over? I think arguably not. I think there's a responsibility on larger operators and game developers to be investing in innovation, which is to their commercial advantage, of course. But there is also a lot of space left for operators that still want to do dot-com markets in areas where that is not outright uh, unlawful. And I think Malta still has a very relevant role to play in this area by channeling this supply through a system which is properly and seriously regulated, making sure that even if the offer is on dot-com in markets where it's not outright illegal, um, that, that this offer is responsible, that AML checks are in place, that players know that they will get their payout. Um, just a few thoughts from me this morning, and I think you'll be touching on quite a few of these topics throughout the day. So I wish you a, a good conference and a good Sigma. Thank you very much.